goodness gracious, there are a lot of sexually related words out there. I've used a lot of them in videos, hoping that you would do some of your own research to look them up. But to make things easier, here's an A to Z list of some interesting terms. <coughs> and aphrodisiacs. Unlike aphrodisiacs, which are intended to enhance sexuality through nature, and aphrodisiacs are turn-offs, some sort of food or nature derivative that makes you feel unsexy. For me, it's capers. For Nick, it's fast food. Bareback. Vaginal or anal penetration without a condom, like riding without a saddle. This can be both freeing and dangerous to your genitals. Coitus. Sex. Coitus reservatus, staying in the plateau stage and reserving orgasm. Coitus interruptus, withdrawing the penis so that you externally ejaculate. Coitus morpherarum, vaginal penetration from the rear. Coitus condomatus, sex with a condom. Coitus diurnus, daytime sex. Coitus explainus, explanation. Douching, flushing out the vagina with a liquid solution. If it's for the anus, it's usually called an enema. And another D, don't do this regularly. Erogenous, an adjective to describe things that are sexually related. More commonly referring to zones or areas of the body that are sensitive to sexual touch. Frenulum, the skin that was or is connecting the foreskin to the underbelly of the penis. Glory hole, an opening in a wall through which people can negotiate and or have anonymous sex. Hysteria, a once was medical diagnosis where one treatment was doctor-induced orgasms. Jism. Slang for semen. Kegels. Pelvic exercises to strengthen the pubic coccygeus muscles or PC muscles. I'm demonstrating them right now. Libido. The drive for pleasure. Masochism. Pleasure derived from receiving pain, unlike sadism, which is pleasure derived from inflicting pain upon another. Nymphomania. The female version of an excessive sex drive. Sadoriasis. That's the male version. Oedipus. The theory by psychologist Sigmund Freud that youngsters aged three to five are erotically desiring parent of another sex. That is until infantile amnesia kicks in and they forget the whole thing. Oedipus was a king in Greek mythology, best known for fulfilling his destiny when he killed his father and married his mother. Priapism, named after the fertility god Priapus, god of livestock, gardens, male genitalia. Priapism refers to an erection of the penis or clitoris that lasts more than four hours without any stimulation. Queefing, releasing air from a vagina, also known as a vart. Red Rhapsody, type of pornography or fetish, featuring menstruation as the source of arousal. Put a towel on the bed, take showers after playing, wash off all the red, carry on, carry on, consent is all that matters. Sodomy, any penetrative sex that doesn't involve a penis in a vagina. Sodomy, referring to the biblical city of Sodom, wiped out by God's fire and brimstone, possibly because the citizens were fornicating. Two-spirit, an identity among indigenous North Americans, usually referring to a mixed gender identity expression, such as having a male spirit and a female spirit. Urolagnia, arousal via urine. The person enjoys water sports and golden showers, other names for play with urine. Venereal, of or relating to sexuality. Venereal, like Venus, Venus, goddess of love, beauty, and sexuality. Wanker, someone who masturbates, and in line with Victorian thinking, Someone who masturbates is an insult. Triple X. A film rating that suggests the content is explicit, sexually charged, extreme. This also denotes Yannick. That which is similar in appearance to a vulva. I prefer the term conic. Zzer Z. Zzer Z. Gender neutral pronouns so that people who identify as something other than male and female can be talked about. Do you have more terms you'd like Dr. Doe definitions of? Put them there.